Hi, this is Lindsay, one of the co-hosts of Beauties and Headcanons. Thanks for listening to the following broadcast on Public House Media. This is Liz Colburn, host of the Morning Uplift here on Public House Media. Thanks for listening to the following broadcast on Public House Media. Once you are done with this episode, I hope you'll come back and check out my show, The Morning Uplift, where we talk about finding your beauty in the journey. A new show comes out twice a month on the first and third Mondays. Don't forget to subscribe on iTunes so you never miss an episode of The Morning Uplift. Thank you again for checking out the following broadcast on Public House Media. Today's verse of the day comes from 1 Thessalonians 5.11. Therefore, encourage one another and build each other up, just as in fact you are doing. Good morning and welcome to Verse of the Day, presented by Public House Media. I'm your host, Baxter Colburn. Thanks for being here today. Uh, we have a great show in store for you today. A new guest speaker is joining the lineup. Uh, before we get into that, though, I want to remind you that we are uh, syndicated on Mana FM in Budapest, Hungary. Thank you to Mana Vision Media for making that possible. Uh, also, a big shout out to Public House Media for having us on their network as well. Uh, we are thrilled for our show today as we get ready to introduce a new guest. Uh, you may have heard her on the top podcast, Choose to Rise. Uh, she is a dear friend, but she's also just an incredible person as a whole. I'm thrilled to have Kim Meyer as our guest speaker today, where she dives in and digs in to First Thessalonians 5.11. Let's hear what Kim has to say to us today. Welcome to Verse of the Day. My name is Kim Meyer, and I want to thank you so much for joining me today. Thanks so much, Baxter, for allowing me to kind of take over your show and be a guest host. It means a lot to me that you would think of me and uh, that I can be of service here and share a little bit about me and this verse and what it means to be here on this Verse of the Day. Thanks so much. And also, if you are listening in from uh, Hungary, from Mana FM, of Thanks for listening. Uh, you probably recognize my voice from Choose to Rise that also happens here on Man FM. And I love being able to share my voice on multiple platforms. So again, the verse today is Thessalonians 5.11. Therefore, encourage one another and build each other up, just, in fact, just as in fact you are doing. This verse comes from a context of the kind of final instructions of when Jesus Christ uh, comes back to earth. It comes in a kind of a way to prepare us for his coming and what we should be doing in the wait time. Um, we No one knows when it's going to happen. No one knows when uh, the world is going to be coming to an end and this world comes to an end. We're going to get to join him in heaven someday. But knowing that there are um, ways or things that we should be doing to live a good life here on earth, kind of the Bible is always those instructions for us us of how to live well. And this is just a daily reminder for us to always be kind, to always empower each other on a daily basis, and to love as Jesus would have loved us every single day. Because like I said, no one knows when our final day is, no one but God. And and uh, he is wants us to be in preparation mode always. And we can do that by living the way Jesus lived, living in a kind and comfortable way, living in a way that um, loves on other people no matter what. Uh, my love language, personal love language is, if you've ever heard of that um, with the love language pieces, but my love language is words of affirmation. And so I love sharing other people with my love language. I love sharing encouraging words with my husband, my children, and other people in my life. Um, my role as a daily basis is to uh, love on and encourage women in their roles uh, of living a healthy life. Um, and my podcast itself is all about empowering people to live a confident and, and Christ-following way. So Love language of words of affirmation is totally something I love to do. Um, I love to also to send handwritten notes, uh, a quick message on a voice message through social media to encourage someone, leaving some lovely, loving comments on their posts on their page, and even giving just a warm smile and compliments to strangers uh, on the meet on the street as I'm walking my dog or passing them on the street as we're out and about, you know, to, going to and from businesses and, and whatnot. Um, really, it's just a great way to share God's love with other people and build them up on our day-to-day day actions and help other people um, also prepare for the coming of Christ. Um, one thing, question I have for you is, 
have you ever heard of the pay it forward concept that really just kind of resonates? That was one of the first things I thought of when Baxter asked me to talk about this verse. Um, it's, it's a popular movie back in 2000 with Helen Hunt and Kevin Spacey. And it's a story that really kind of created a kindness movement. And uh, I love this story because it, um, it was, I guess it was almost 20 years ago, which kind of dates me, but um, it was a, it's a story about a young boy who um, gets a teacher, uh, his teacher, Kevin Spacey, um, gives him an assignment and he's got to change the world. Like, he encourages all the students to go out and change the world. And so a lot of the kids in the class, they, they think small, like they're going to have a, start a recycling program. They're going to clean up their neighborhood. They're going to, you know, do something nice for their grandma. They're going to, you know, small things, the typical things that kids think of when they were going to go out and change the world. Right. But Trevor, the boy in this movie, he decides that he's going to do something kind for seven people. And then he's going to ask them to do something kind for seven other people. And he's going to create this ripple effect of how he's going to have massive impact on the world by doing something kind for just a small amount of people. And those people go do something for other people. And those people go do something for people. And he does some really bold things, like some big things. It's not just like I took the garbage out for my neighbor. Neighbor, but it's giving money that he's earned or um, to a homeless man on the street. It's uh, standing up for a, a friend to a bully that's in a school. It's being uh, in a big way, doing some big things in his neighborhood and things that wouldn't necessarily, you wouldn't think a a third grader or fourth grader would do, but he steps out in courage and he steps out in positive ways because he knows what he what he's doing is going to have a massive impact on life. And he wants to create that ripple effect. Now, there's, I don't want to give away the ending. There is something, uh, there's always that cliffhanger thing that happens in the movie. So I'm not going to give that away, but I do want you to know that I kind of think of Trevor in many ways as a modern day Jesus. He came from unlikely places. He, in, he works with, and he was always working to touch the lives of unlikely people. He was going to, he's working hard to, uh, make an, a life in lifetime impact with what could be the unlovables. You know, like Jesus always worked with the poor. He worked with the tax collectors. He worked with the people that needed salvation. And that's who Trevor was seeking out in his story as well. And always working with the people there. And, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, as we were, as we were coming out of Easter weekend here and we're celebrating that Christ will return to save us from this broken world, I would love for you to be Trevor. I would love to you to reach out and be kind to the people around you, encourage others around you around you. And, you know, be that, while as we celebrate the return of Christ and as we celebrate, um, you know, living this broken world, how can we make it better? How can we go out and encourage one another and build each other up? And how can we go forward and just live that life as Jesus would have lived? How can I encourage you today? How can you go out and encourage other people like this verse calls for? How can you go out and love as Jesus would love today? How can you pay it forward to the people that you love, to the people that are a part of your community, that the people that maybe are the people that just get overlooked in this busy, busy world? I hope and pray today that you can be a good steward of our lives here on this earth and that you can be encouraged by this verse from Thessalonians 5.11. Therefore, encourage one another and build each other up just as in fact that you are doing. Go out today and make today great. Thank you.